Father Juan, first and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashah, Yahweh Shai. The honors the apostles, salutations to your brothers, don't understand the sincerity and truth on charity. Alright, we're gonna hop right into it. Okay. This is a. Uh, bring up this first scripture real fast. Um. This is uh, Psalms 69 and verse 32. It says, The humble shall see this and be glad, and your heart shall live that seek Yahweh. For Yahweh heareth the poor and despiseth not his prisoners. And that's the key thing that we're going to get into about uh, being prisoners of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, um, it's just that, man. We are slaves unto the Lord. We are slaves unto this wisdom. We are prisoners unto this wisdom, you know. And we hope, hope to continue to be. Because you have guys out here that teach contrary, you know. They tell you, oh, I don't want to be lords over your faith. I want you to stand in your faith. Likewise, we do. But they portray as if the apostles and, and, and the elders and the brothers want to um, 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 enslave you or something. You know? You're being enslaved by this wisdom, not by men. And Lord willing, that's what uh, uh, you know. we want to uh, edify brothers on, Lord willing, you know, through the scriptures. So uh, the next scripture... Um, can you grab Zephaniah? Mm -hmm. Not Zephaniah, it's like Zechariah uh, 9 and 12. Zechariah? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Zechariah 9 and 12. Tire you to the stronghold, ye prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto thee. When I have bent Judah for me, Fill the bow with Ephraim and raised up thy sons, O Zion, against thy sons, O Greece, mm -hmm. and made thee as the sword of a mighty man. Hey, and, and, and according to Revelation 13, 9 and 10, it says, uh, uh, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. You know? But the last part of it is, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That faith and hope goes hand in hand. You know? So we're prisoners of hope. What are we hoping for? We're hoping for the salvation and the destruction of our enemies, man. Because according to uh, Hebrews 11 and 1, hope, uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for. And that's what we're hoping for, man. The downfall of this society, the establishing of, uh, of righteousness in the earth. You know? Uh, go from there to Ephesians 3 and 1. I got uh, Romans 16 and 7. We're just going to run down these scriptures, man, and... and and, and, and just prove it through the scriptures, you know. It's Romans 16 and 7. It says, Salute Adronicus and Junia, my kinsmen, and my fellow prisoners. Fellow prisoners, the key word. Who, who, are of, who are of note among the apostles who also were in Yahweh Shai before me. Key thing is being fellow prisoners, man. Because if you called into this thing, hey, 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 you called to do a job, man. Um, you said Ephesians 1? 3 and 1. Yeah. Ephesians 3 and 1. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Yahweh Shai Mashiach, for you Gentiles. Yep, and it's plain and straight to the point. I, Paul, the prisoner of Yahweh Shai. You know, Zechariah has clearly said, ye, uh, 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 ye prisoners of hope, man. This is uh, Ephesians 4 and 1. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. You know, so walk worthy of your profession, man. Walk worthy of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. Because we represent Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai here on this earth, man. So your actions and your conduct, the way you carry yourself and the way you teach and the way you speak, reflects on our Heavenly Father and His Son. So you ought to do things accordingly as He said do them. You know? You, you have some? Go ahead. This is uh, Colossians 4 and 10. It says, uh, uh, 
Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, saluteth you, and Marcus, sister's son to Barnabas, touching whom ye receive commandments, if he come unto you, receive him. So why is Paul saying he's a prisoner, and all these guys who are laboring with him, they're fellow prisoners as well? This is uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 8. Be not therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner. But be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of Yahweh. You know? Be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel. And that's a part of being his prisoner, man. We're serving, man. We got to labor and we got to go through, uh, through through trials when labor, man. Cause, like the curse that was placed on Adam, man. All right, from the sweat of our brow, we got to toil, man. You know, so we actually labor, man. And we got to go through this hell. And that's part of being a prisoner in this thing. That's part of being a servant of Yahweh Ba'asham and Yahweh Shai, man. And we got work to do, man. We were purchased, man. That's right. We're, we're, we're purchased, man. And we, we, we agree to do it until the end. Okay. In fact, can I read these two real quick? Okay. This is um, 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. I'm going to start at uh, 17. He that is joined unto Yahweh is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. He that committeth fornication sinned against his own body. All right, so we're supposed to serve Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai solely. All right? With all our heart, mind, and soul, man. Going up to the 100% truth, man. Not getting into no weird doctrines. Not from, it's staggering away, man. Because we, we belong to him. We, we're his servant. For one, we're his, we, he says it as a chaste virgin to him. Yeah. So we're his woman, which means servant. <laughs> then not only are we his woman, so, so his servant in that manner, he also actually came and purchased us, man. This is... Um, yeah, you're, you're bought with a price. That's, yeah. You know? What? Know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit which is in you, which you have of the Most High, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with the price. Therefore glorify, glorify Yahweh in your body and your spirit, which are the Most High's. Which goes back to what the brother said, man. We are representatives for Yahweh by Shani Shai. So we got to continue to, for one, with that statement, man, we got to continue to grow in this faith, all right, and um, become perfect men in Yahweh by Shani Shai. We don't belong to ourselves, man. We got work to do. We got we got to labor, man. All right. We got to the, the, the harvest is the harvest is ready, but the laborers are few, man. So we got to put forth these works, do these videos, man. Suffer all things for the elect's sake, and endure and do it until the end, man. All right. This is hey because uh, oh shit, it kind of goes back to our lesson about choosing this day. You either gonna be a prisoner unto the flesh, serving sin. Or you gonna be a prisoner unto this wisdom unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai and serving righteousness, man. God, that's the scripture. You know it's either or. You can't have both. So you either a prisoner unto sin or you a prisoner unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, man. Right. This is uh, Romans six sixteen. Know you not, it's like, know you not that to whom you yield yourself servants, to obey his servants you are, to whom you obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness, man. <laughs> That's right. So you're serving one with another, man. Um, and this is Isaiah 6, real quick, to show we're supposed to endure this thing to the end. Isaiah 6 and um, 8. Also, I heard the voice of, of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and whom will go for us? Then said I, here am I, send me. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Okay? Just as Ezekiel 3, when he said, I, I, he will send you to a nation of... Um, of a stiff-necked people, man, with a, with a hard head, man. He made our head hard as flint. All right, we're sitting out here to go against a, a fucking, just what it is, a hard-headed fucking people, man. And they're going to persecute us. And they're going to put hell on us, man. 
And they're going to be in league with Esau to help further the oppression on us, man. And our job is to go, to, to, to continue to walk uprightly, to endure, all right, and to teach the truth, man. Keep an integrity. Because we, that's what we're hired to do, man. Because we love, keep reading. Make the heart of this people fat, Isaiah 6 and 10. Make the heart of this people fat, make their ears heavy and shut their eyes. Lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Then said I, Lord, how long? He asked until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. And Yahweh has removed men far away, and there be a great forsaken in the midst of the land. Um, but yet in it shall be a tent, and it shall return, and shall be eaten as a teal tree. And as an oak whose substance is, is in them, when they cast their leaves, so the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. Alright? So that tent is expected to continue to, you know, to, to, to leave the flock properly, man. Okay. All right. That ring it. Mm -hmm. To be acceptable servants, man. Amos 3 and 7, too. It's just keep in mind. Because that's what Isaiah was being called to do. Uh, be a prophet. All right. And what are the prophets called? I'm going to just read this as I said it. Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealed the secret unto his servants, the prophets. So we're hired to be servants, man. And that comes with labor, man. All right? And that comes with, hey, during the great afflictions too, man. Hey, and that's, a, and that's a, a, a beautiful thing in the sight of the Lord, man. For us to suffer and go through afflictions for his name's sake. This is uh, Philemon 1 and 1. Paul, a prisoner of Yahweh Shai, and Timothy, our brother, unto Philemon, our dearly beloved and fellow laborer. Keep in mind, fellow labor. You know? God, we're slaves, man. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're prisoners and slaves, man. Uh, let me jump down, verse 9. Yet for love's sake, I rather beseech thee, being such a one as Paul the aged, and now also a prisoner of Yahweh Shah. Jump down to verse 23. There salute thee, Ephras, my fellow prisoner in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah. You know, so Paul constantly uh, 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 speaking about prisoner. Prisoner of what? Prisoner of Yahweh Shah, man. This is a... Uh, This is Matthew 20 and 1. I'll just get the parable. Uh, this year I was shot himself speaking. For the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is an householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers into his vineyard, which we are hired to do, man. Yahweh Shah said what? That the, uh, the harvest is plenty, but the laborers are few. You know? So we, uh, we need more prisoners, more fellow laborers, so, so we can labor to get, uh, get this work done. Verse 2, and when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. You were bought with a price, man. It says, and he went out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. You know, I ain't going to get into the whole parable, you know, but uh, the point is, man, we're being hired to do a job, man. We are laborers in this thing. So you are called to do a labor, man. You was over? Um, uh, Matthew 22 and 10 had a couple parables, but um, I ain't gonna, I, I ain't gonna go too deep into them. This is Matthew 22 and um, 1. And how shall I answer and speak unto them again by parables and said, The kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son, and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. Alright, so. This is what the this is the setup of the kingdom of heaven. Alright? That's Yahweh, that's Yahweh Shai, and that's his servants. Alright, so either you're a servant, or <laughs> I'm keep reading. Either you're a servant or you're not. You're either gonna labor for Yahweh Shai, you're gonna bid for the marriage, or you're not. Those who won't labor, we're gonna see. Alright? And send forth servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. 
Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, Tell them which are bidden, Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my felons are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. So we're trying to invite everybody to come in. Get under this yoke. Be ye followers of, of me as I follow Yahweh Shai. Get under this yoke, man. Come to the marriage. Because if you come to the marriage, guess what? We're going to be presented as a chest virgin. So you're going to be a woman. You're going to be that servant as well. All right? The sheep became, became shepherds themselves. John 10. Okay? But they made light of it and went their ways. One to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and they treated them spitefully and slew them. <laughs> so we're going to, the parable makes it clear we're going to have to go through shit. Jake wanted to flip, they want to kill us now, man. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, they always kill us the prophets, man. All right? Um, but when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Then said he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which were bidden were not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So we got to go teach the people. Hey, some going to make light of it. Then they'll become enemies, scoffing at us, persecuting us. And guess what? We still have to go teach them again. So we got we got to labor, man. We got to go through these afflictions, man. Put bear the bonds, bear the yoke, man. We, we, we under it, man. All right? So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guest, it's like when the king came in to see the guest, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. Um, and he keep, just keep reading. And he said unto him, Friend, how come is, came his doubt and hither not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. All right, so you gotta you gotta put on that that bird, you know, because otherwise you won't be clothed, man. That's right. All right, you gotta fully clothe yourself, which is putting on the yoke, man. When you get, we get wisdom of Solomon, that's part of the clothes, man. All right, then it's gonna turn into a shield for us, man. Putting on this yoke. All right. Then said the king to the servants, "Buy him hand and foot, and take him away and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. So you, you, and you gotta bear this yoke, man. You either gonna labor." All right, Revelation 3 15, you're going to be hot or uh, uh, cold, man. You look warm, the Lord's going to spew you out, so we got work to do. All right, the liberal soul shall be made fat, and that water, the water is himself. So, this is uh, Philippians 4 and 3. It says, and I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow. <laughs> and that's letting you know right there, man, when you bear the yoke, Oxen do what, man? They put the yoke on to do what to work. Mm -hmm. So when you bear that yoke, man, you work it. It says, and I treat thee also, true yoke fellow, help those women which labor with me in the gospel, which uh, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. So, hey, 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 those ones whose names are written in the book of life, they're going to be out here laboring, man. They're going to be out here putting that work in. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 3 and 2. And since Timothy is our brother and minister of the Most High and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Yahweh to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith. And that's the point. That, that's the whole point of, uh, of the labor, man. That's the whole point of being prisoners of hope. That's the whole point of out here teaching. You know? Yahweh Shah told Paul, uh, not Paul, but Peter, once thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren, man. I'm going to read this again, 1 Thessalonians 3 and 2. And sent to Matthias, our brother and minister, the word minister goes back to server as well, man. It says, of Yahweh and our fellow laborer in the gospel of Yahweh to establish you and to comfort you concerning your faith, man. Hey, but it, as it is written, there be guys who are out here to overthrow your faith, man. That's why it's the rightful teachers here, Isaiah 30 and 20, who are here to teach you the right way, man. So you can stand firm in your faith, man. Stand firm in the bonds of Yahweh Shai. All right. Um, 
This is a that myself were a curse for my shiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites, to whom pertaineth the adoption, and the glory, and the covenants, and the giving of the law, and the service of the Mosai, and the promises. Hey, so even as being Israelites, man, we were called to be a nation of priests. And the priests, they, the priests sacrificed day to night. All right, so we're all, hey, well, no matter how you look at it, man, we were always called to labor, man. All right, when you read the Amite, the 8th chapter, I'm going to get it real quick, man. To show how fucking much we should be laboring. This is Nehemiah. Um, this is Nehemiah 8 and 3. I'm going to start at 1. And all the people gathered themselves together as one man into the street that was before the water gate. And they spake unto Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which Yahweh had commanded to Israel. And Ezra the priest brought the law before the congregation, both men and women, and all that could hear with understanding upon the first day of the seventh month. And he read therein before the street that was before the water gate from the morning until midday. Before the men and the women and those that can understand and the ears of all the people were attentive to the book of the law. So they would, you know, they, they did the labor for hours, man, from morning to midday. And it said Paul, you know, he, he disputed daily. And it was, he, was, he, he was laboring daily, man. You know, we got to bear this yoke, man, this burden, man. Do this labor, man, endure through the, the, the sufferings we got to endure through, man. All right? As a servant, we got to take the good and the bad, man. Hey, it tells you on Sirach, you, you know, you got to uh, put your servant to work. And also, you got to use the rod upon your servant. So we got to take it all, man. We, we are the, we slaves, man. We prisoners. Hell, we got to work and get beat for when we slacking. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we slaves. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Matthew 11 and 29. Yahweh Shah says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. That's right. You know? So so, so it, it ain't a hard thing to do, man. Once you put your faith and trust in your how about shot me, how shot, man. You know? Ask him uh, 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 for guidance. You know? This is... um. First Timothy 6 and 1. And it says, Let as many servants as are under the yoke count their own masters worthy of all honor that the name of the Most High and His doctrine be not blasphemed, man. Servants under the yoke, man. Servants under the yoke, you know. As a matter of fact, that word yoke is the Greek word uh, zugos. And it says a yoke that is put on drop cattle, you know, so a, a cattle that's, that's, that's uh, plowing and so on. And it says metaphorically used of any burden or bondage as that of slavery. So this is what our yoke is, man. Our yoke is doing this work, man. As we constantly keep saying, man, hey, hey we're bought with a price, you know. This is a. Uh, you was home, something? This is Sirach 6, and I'm going to start at 18. Yeah, that's what I had, too. <laughs> it says, My son, gather instruction from thy youth up, so shalt thou find wisdom till thy own age. Come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth, man. You being under that yoke, man. You being a fellow laborer, a fellow prisoner, a, fel uh, 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 a yoke fellow, <laughs> as Paul called him. And wait for her good fruits, 
For thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon. She is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. And that's these, that's these guys that began to make excuse, man. You know, as Yahweh Shah gave in the parable, the brother just read one. It says, she will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial and will cast her from him or it be long. And that's, the, and that's not you, and, and, and that's uh, these guys who threw the burden from off them, man. You know, Yahweh Shah said, uh, uh, my yoke is easy and my burden is light, man. And, that, and it says, for thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon, man. But yet these guys looked at it as a burden, man, as a heavy stone of trial, man. They, uh, like Yahweh said, man, he that uh, does not bear his cross is not worthy of me, man. Bearing your cross is bearing his burden, man. And whatever that comes with it, you know, whether, whether regardless if you have to lose your, uh, uh, your job that Esau gave you, you might lose your woman, your house, your car, man, your children. You got to bear that burden and continue to, to do your real job, man. It says, um, she will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her from him ere it be long. For wisdom is according to her name, and she is not manifest unto many. Give ear, my son, receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel, and put thy feet into her fetters. So if you, uh, uh, fetters is a, a, a shit, many uh, shit, all of them, damn near all of our, uh, us jakes been to court. So you, you see the motherfuckers uh, uh, that's locked up in there going to court, what do they, they have they, uh, uh, uh wrist chain and they ankles chain. And those ankle chains are called fetters, man. It says, put thy feet into her fetters and thy neck into her chain. So become a prisoner, man, become a slave, become a laborer. Unto what? Unto wisdom. What is wisdom? Who is wisdom? That's Yahweh Shah, man. We are prisoners of Yahweh Shah. We are prisoners unto this, uh, un unto this knowledge. It says, Bow down thy shoulder and bear her and be not grieved with her bonds, man. And that's what happened with a lot of these guys, man. They was grieved with the bonds. It says, Come unto her with thy whole heart and keep her ways with all thy power. Search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. For at the last thou shalt find her rest, and that shall be turned to thy joy. And that's what Yahweh Shai said, man. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm grabbing back real fast. Uh, Matthew 11 and 29. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls, man. So I'm going to read this again. It says, verse 28, For at the last thou shalt find her rest, and, shall, and that shall be turned to thy joy. Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee, and her chains a robe of glory. You know, because guess what that is, man? Jeremiah, uh, uh, is it uh, 33 and 6? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, man. Isaiah. Isaiah 33 and 6, like it. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Look up that word stable, man. It goes back to your faith, man. That this wisdom, that you have faith, that this wisdom, knowledge, understanding that you're learning, that Yahweh Shah, whom you putting on, is going to keep you in that day, man. It says... Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee, and her chains a robe of glory. For there is a golden ornament upon her, and her bands are purple lace. Thou shalt put her on as a robe of honor, so like it, and shall put her about thee as a crown of joy. My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. So you got to put yourself under that yoke, man. You yeah. got to bow down to it, man. You got to seek after wisdom. Hell, and desire wisdom. Uh, uh, to get wisdom, you got to desire discipline. You got to put yourself under the yoke, man. Hey, like it says in Daniel, when the day you decide to chasten thyself, you know, you got to strive for the truth. Like, you got to labor for this, man. 
You got to put your whole heart into it, like it says in, in uh, what verse is that? Um, 26. Kind. Come to with that whole heart. You got to put everything into this, man. Every aspect about your life got to become about wisdom and living properly and uprightly, man. And laboring, hey, to, to bring to a kingdom, man. All right? Because you got to become the example for the, for the flock. Then you got to teach the flock. You got to feed the flock. Okay, you got to you got to deal with the flock for with, with judgment. Build actually build them up. All right. I'm gonna keep reading. Um, I'm gonna read verse thirty two again. It says, "My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught." You know, because ultimately, uh, you bowing your head into this wisdom. You 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 putting the wisdom, uh, your feet into the fetters. How how are you doing that? It's gonna explain it. It says, thou shalt be taught. Isaiah 30 and 20. You know your teachers. Jeremiah 3 and 15. Those that are going to feed you. Sirach 8 and 8. Through them you shall learn understanding. It says, um, my son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. If thou love to hear, who are you hearing from, man? Thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow thy ear, thou shalt be wise. So you got to humble yourself unto the men that came before you, man. The men who are showing you the way unto salvation, matter of fact. Grab this real fast. This is Acts 16 and 17. And it says, uh, the same, I'm going to start at 16 so you, you know brothers can get the just. It says, and it came to pass as we went to prayer, a certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us, which brought her masters much gain by Sue, saying, The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants, being a servant again, you know, a slave, a prisoner, a fellow laborer. These men are the servants of the Most High Power, Yahweh, which show unto us the way of salvation. So there are men who are showing other men the way to salvation, man. It's simple and plain. Jeremiah 3.15. Yep. Yeah. So to go back to uh, Sirach 6 and 33, If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. And if thou bow thy ear, thou shalt be wise. Stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise. And that's how you learn, man. That's how you become a slave unto wisdom. You know, that's how you become a fellow laborer, a fellow prisoner of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. It's learning from the men that came before you who are teaching you and showing you the way. It says, verse 35, be willing to hear every godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape thee. And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee betimes unto him and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Let thy I'll take the trailer wheels off. <laughs> right. It says, and let thy foot wear the steps of his door. Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord and medicate, medicate, and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall, he shall establish thy heart and give thee wisdom at thy own desire. And how he's gonna and how Yahweh is gonna do that? Through the men that he set up, man. You know, you have the uh, 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 the brothers and the elders in your prospective camps, and also you have the unicorn, Isaiah nineteen, day unto day utter acknowledgement. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I have. You got the um, you got the addicted to wisdom. Yeah. Got. This is uh, the prologue of Sirach. Um, I'm going to start like, uh, in the middle of the paragraph. It says, Wherefore let me entreat you to read it with favor. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to start up. It says, My grandfather, Yahweh Shai, when he had much given himself to the reading of the law and the prophets and other books of our fathers 
and had gotten therein good judgment, letting you know the you know through through this word is how you receive good judgment. Um, it says, and gotten therein good judgment was drawn on also himself to write something pertaining to learning and wisdom to the intent that those which are desirous to learn and are addicted to these things might profit much more in living according to the law. Come. All right. Now, the definition of addict is... Um 15, it says 15 is 30 implied addicted to devote or give up oneself to a habit or occupation. Okay? So we, this is our occupation and we're supposed to be slaves, man. Alright? Um, then it says uh, from Latin addictus from past participle at its era to deliver a war yield which are, um, we read earlier uh, whoever you yield yourself over to, man as your servants you are. To devote, okay? So that, that's what it is, man. We're supposed to be uh, addicted to wisdom, man. Addicted to learning. Yep. Desiring this thing, man. Bowing down ourselves to the yoke. Alright? Love and being a servant of Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, man. Alright? And knowing that the, the chestnut, when, and when we get hit with the rod, man, it's for, it's for our betterment, man. Alright? Labor to bring to the kingdom, man. To proclaim the name of Yahweh Bashan and Yahweh Shai. Alright? Because that's our fucking job. Hey, Ecclesiastes 12. What's the whole duty of man? That's our job. That's our duty. Yeah. Alright? To keep the commandments. So we, whatever <laughs> we go through, we're supposed to keep our duty, man. Keep our integrity. That's our fucking job. As Israelites, man. To be a beacon of light. Yeah. And he said, uh, the brother mentioned to be addicted unto this, man. You got to desire it, man. You got to seek after it. This is Proverbs 2 and 1. My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, which the word hide goes into to keep, you know, hold tight on them, so that thou incline thy ear unto wisdom, and apply thy heart to understanding. We just read in, in, in Sirach. Speaks about uh, uh, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. If thou apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent, right? It says, so that thou incline thy ear unto wisdom. And apply thy heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge. And lifted up thy voice for understanding. If thou seekest her as silver. And searchest for her as for hid treasures. Then shalt thou understand the fear of Yahweh and find the knowledge of the Most High. For Yahweh giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. And what is his mouth? You know, he speak by his prophets. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. Um, he keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity, yea, every good path. It says, when wisdom entereth into thy heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee. You know, shall keep you for what? It says, to, li to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things. And when you continue to read, it goes into that strange doctrine, man. So this keeps you on the right path, you know? And we're supposed to in turn teach this to keep uh your brother on the right path, man. That's right. We got our brothers keep them, man. Yep. You know? Like we got this light, we're supposed to let that light shine. In fact, I've got a couple of parables. Mm -hmm. Um, you can grab Matthew twenty four for me. Mm -hmm. This is Matthew twenty five, you can start at verse um. This is Matthew 25. Um, 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered unto them 
I'm gonna start at the top, really. Because the women, you know. Mm, there you go. It's Matthews 25 and 1. You know, and whatever points, you can actually break it down. This is Matthews 25 and 1. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. You know, and, uh, and Proverbs say that the law was a lamp unto our feet, man. All right? So that's this is what the lamp is, man, taking this truth, man. Yeah. All right? What the spirit you have by shining, how it shine, man. And it's full, it's 100% of it, but not part of it. Otherwise, you ain't got enough oil if you ain't got the full truth. All right? And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. <laughs> so, so which goes back to Ezekiel 37. They didn't have a spirit with them. You know, they was clothed. They knew who they were. They didn't have no understanding, man. Because that's ultimately what the, what the spirit is. The Holy Spirit of truth, man, is the spirit of understanding, man. Okay. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom coming, go ye out to meet him. Right, and when they all slumbered and slept, that's us coming back in our different reincarnations, you know. And it says a cry was made at midnight that that that, that bridegroom is here. That's the coming of Yahweh Shah. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone now. Right, because when it's time to trim the lamps, when it's time to use the oil, use the understanding so that light can burn brighter, they didn't take no oil, man. They had no understanding. These was the guys talking about take the training wheels off. These is the guys talking about you don't need a man to guide you. These is the guys talking about that ain't the name or this ain't that and that ain't this. Go ahead, bro. But the wise answer saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go you rather right to them that sell and buy you for yourselves. Mm -hmm. And them that sell is talking about go to the teachers and learn, man. Here it is. We sat here. We learned. We got it from the sellers. You know? And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Right. So while they went to buy, so while they were trying to get the understanding of what's going on, it was too late, man. Right. They backtracking. They supposed to be teaching. Yeah. Getting into weird ass doctors. They strayed away from the path, man. Hey, you are. This is the path right here, man. Walking in it, man. All right. Um. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and they were that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. They stayed on the path, man. They they let the they had the the law as lamps they feet man. <laughs> hey, because that wisdom became a defense for them, man. That's right. That oil became a defense for them, you know. But those five foolish men, hey, they didn't have no defense. Why? Because they cast it uh, uh, off. Them. That's right. Well, so the of that time. Mm -hmm. They they let it go, man. Afterward came also the other version, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch, therefore, ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. So that's why we're supposed to stay faithful on his path, man. Uh, uh, prophesying, you know, exposing Esau. Sticking to the doctrine, man. Okay? Growing in, in faith in Yahweh Bashan, Yahweh Shai. Yep. After the examples of the elders before us, because that's how you walk in wisdom. Get and the, going back to that Sirach 6. Alright, now this is verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is as a, a man traveling into a far country. Oh, and just for record, the virgins, you know, that's being a woman again, which woman means female servant. Okay? For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called his own servants. And delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one. 
to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same, and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that have, have received two, he also gained other two. He that had received one, went and dig in the earth, and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants, hey, so look, this is very plain, man. We are servants to Yahweh Shai. He gave us talents, he gave us this, this law, he gave us the ability to, to, to understand. All right, that we're Israelites, that his name is Yahweh Basham Shai. To us that do know that, to those who don't, you already, and you already fucked up, okay? Mm -hmm. You already searching through, looking for, for answers, man. All right? Meanwhile, we giving you the answers. Yeah. So, well, you got guys that want to play on uh, uh, the people's emotions and shit, talking about, oh, they want to lord over you and all this and that. No, man. Starting with the apostles and elders on down to all the brothers who teaching this gospel in truth and in sincerity. The only thing we trying to do, man, is take you out of uh, uh, the slavery, the bondage of sin, and bring you into the slavery, the bondage of Yahweh by Hashem Shai, because that's what's gonna get you saved, man. Mm -hmm. Um, but he that had received one went and dig. And the earth that hid his Lord's money, after a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. He increased, man. He went and labored, man. Brought forth fruit. All right? His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I'll make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. All right? That's getting brought into the glory. What you have a shot, man? Being joint heirs, we have a shot. We got to stay faithful to the path, man. Follow the example of you have a shot, man. All right? And, 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 and proclaim the name of Yahweh as you have a shot taught us, man. Um, he, he also, he also had received two talents, came and said, Lord, thou delivered unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee rule over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. And that comes with, it said that, that the wisdom after it's been fetters and we've been a certain slave to it, what should happen? It should be a glow, a, 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 a robe of glory. We're going to be priests and kings, man, rulers, man. Wisdom, the desire of wisdom, bring it to a kingdom, man. Yep. So we, we bow down our heads to this yoke now. Take, we got to take, teach this word, okay? And then guess what? We're going to become kings, man. All right, we're going to become kings. Even though it's our fucking duty to do it anyway. You should do it because we fuck for one, we deserve death. And it's, it's a blessing that we able to receive this truth. And it's our fucking duty to, to live, man. As men on earth, we were created to follow these laws. So as that's what we're supposed to do, man. Not because of a reward. Hey, with the water you have shot me how shy that he's and he's faithful, and he is gonna reward us. But meanwhile, we got that's why we got to take what we got to take. <laughs> then he that he which shall receive the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou has not sown, and gathering where thou has not strong. And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth, lo, there thou hast that is thine. Our slave, they didn't grow, they didn't bring forth good fruit, man. And they be the main ones saying, oh, y'all better stop playing with the Lord. Meanwhile, y'all not, y'all, all oh, y'all whole job is to debate. To not teach the flock, to not bring them to the kingdom. All right? To not be a watchman. Kind, you're not a warning, man. Because yeah, it all comes, hey, hey, plowing and sowing, you know, uh, 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 fishing, watching. Standing on the tower is all the, one and the same, man. It's all talking about doing his work. That's right. You know? That's right. 
You gotta blow that trumpet and warn the people. That's right. Um, his Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant. Right, meanwhile, they tripped on because we said we worship each other, which is simple. We serve each other. All right? We minister to each other. Simple as that. And we highly, and we esteem each other according to the, the spirit that, that was placed upon each us, man. Yeah, more highly than ourselves. That's right. But you but you got a whole ass, I ain't finna follow a man that shit pissed like me. Well, you comparing him, man, how you esteeming him higher than yourself in? Which, which is bugged out, though. The, they don't pay attention to the fact, not only are we teaching you the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, which is the Father, Yahweh Shai's the Son. We're teaching you how to, to live, to walk properly in this present evil world. All right, although we do teach that in the law, if a man raped a woman that was single, not betrothed, not married, that they will become husband and wife, we still teach don't do that in society. All right, we teach that Esau's going to roll on you motherfuckers. Don't take the RFID chip. Yahweh Shai's coming back. Get prepared for him. But they worry about the fact that we said we worship each other. That's their focus, man. So now you're not warning the people. You're not blowing the trumpet because of that. Well, shit, and they teach uh, uh, Most High in Christ. Right. And when the Spirit get on him, it do. But shit, we ain't stop. We ain't focus all our efforts on him and stop warning about Esau and stop warning about everything else. The wickedness is going on out here, man. Exhorting the brothers, building the brothers up when they down, teaching about. Everything and the whole yeah. council, man. Yeah. Yep. Y'all had the talent. Y'all <laughs> claim y'all done work of the Lord, and the Lord is gonna hold you accountable to your words. Every idle word. Mm -hmm. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sow not, and gather where I have not straw. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers. And then at my coming, I should have received my own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which have ten talents. And you'd have better off, hey, just, hey, just, just honoring the prophets, man. Believing this thing, being a help or something, man. All right? At least you would have got some interest. You would have started to bring forth fruits of, of righteousness for yourself. But you want to hide the light that's in you? Then scoff against the, the men of the Lord. Not do anything, man. Hell, even even if hey, it's Jake that it's Jake that know this truth, man. They don't go out and teach them that, but they and they did they, they like to at least say shalom to somebody, you know. I mean, not shalom. They teach them, and you know, it's like this and that, and that and this, and then give them the information. Well, yeah, these are the brothers to go to. All right. That's at least give your money to, to the exchanges, man, and get some interest. But instead, y'all kicking against the pricks. Hmm. Y'all just completely, you, you threw your talent into the dust, man. You put it in the earth, man, which means you got all this confusion around it, man. You not, it, It's good for nothing now, man. For unto everyone that, ha that have shall be given, and he, sh he shall have abundance. For him that have not shall be taken away, even that which he have. And cast ye that unprofitable servant into outer darkness, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And that's why it's important to do the labor, man, and do it and strive lawfully, man. Teach properly. Okay? So you don't be counted as this, this slothful servant that gets cast into this fire, man. Alright? May Yahweh Hashem Yahshak bless that we all endure, man. Um, that's it on that. <laughs> kind of. This is uh, St. Matthew 24, and we'll start at 42. It says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house. To be broken up. So the key thing, man, you got to stay on that watch. You got to stay busy. You got to stay alert. You know? Scriptures speak about uh, 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 redeeming the time, you know? It says, um... And, um, good man of the house basically means the the master of the house, but the, um, the, the man that's under the Lord, say, uh, say, um, I'm trying to think of the best way to put it. 
It's his servant, but he's over the rest of the household. He's set up to feed the rest of the people, man. All right? His head servant? His head servant, yeah. Basically, kind of the one. Uh, verse 44, it says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household? All right, and that goes back to that word, the master. His head servant, man. All right, which we're over the flock, man. That's what it says in um, Acts, what is it, Acts 14? Uh, 20, 28. All right. The major overseer. No, I'll take heed take he, he to the flock. Yeah. Yep. Exactly, man. So you got to lead the flock properly, man. You got to be faithful. You got you to gotta do it. You got to strive lawfully. Teach the truth. Okay? And that, and that says, and be wise, man. Be a wise servant. So you got to bear that yoke, man. All right? Study, show that self approved. So you be, uh, be not ashamed, man. You know, you can probably divide the word. Yep. That's also what it boils down to. The foolish virgins didn't labor, man. They didn't bear the burden. Mm -hmm. Because Proverbs says a righteous man study up to answer. You know? That's right. It says, uh, Who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Right. We're, we're pastors, man. We're the pastor means to, to, to shepherd, but we also feed the flock. All right. Mm -hmm. It says, "Blessed is that servant whom his lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing." Labor, man, we got to labor. Like I said in Isaiah six, until the cities be wasted. It says, "Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods." So we bear that yoke, and it's going to turn into glory to us, man. It's going to be a defense to get us through these troubling times. You know, it's going to be a shield, and it's going to be a robe of glory to us, man. Because we're going to receive, Lord willing, we are those elect like men. We're going to receive honor and be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. God, it says, but, 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 and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my Lord delayeth his coming. Right. <laughs> if you, if you, the fire gets too hot for you and you, and you faint, you know, what was you? Like it says in uh, Sirach, it says, uh, Sirach, real quick, you know, mine, bro. So rock two and um, thirteen. Warn to him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Warn to you that have lost patience, and what will you do when Yahweh shall visit you? So there you go, man. You won't be defended. Because you shook off wisdom, you didn't stay on the right path, man. You said the Lord delayed, so you got into whatever the madness you got into, man. You didn't remain faithful. So because of that, you don't have them, them fetters and them chains to be a defense for you in the times of trouble. Uh, verse 49, it says, And shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. And that's our job to, to, to keep the, uh, the flock away from you guys, man. Because you was trying to smite the servants. The fellow servants, man. Well, they already doing it when they talk shit against us. And it says, and to eat and drink with the drunken. What did the Lord say, man? They uh, 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 they stumble, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. Right. Who is the drunken, man? These guys who, who who don't know what the fuck they talking about, man. They don't even know what they believe in. It ain't y'all about shine, y'all shine. It's true. All right. It says, but you begin to eat and drink with the drunken, man. Side with scoffers, man. You know you were scoffing when you got all scoffers on your video talking about, hey, good video. <laughs> but all you niggas got different fucking uh, 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 philosophies, man. You niggas don't even agree together except you talking about Great Millstone, good video. You don't believe nothing that he said except the things that he said which was false against Great Millstone. Kind of. What's that? Uh, what's that because they shall eat. They said they shall eat the flock. Grievous wolves shall enter in among you. Right. The same one, Acts 20, 28. Kind of. I just want to get it there. So, yeah. So, like. That's all good. This is Acts 20. Verse 1. Verse 1. This is Acts 20. 28. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves. And there you go. So, you got to make sure you, you, you follow in the path, man. Striving lawfully. 
Teach the truth. And to all the flock over the which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. All right, being a good man in the house, man. We're to feed the flock, man. Okay? And that's, that's the word, overseers. Come. To feed the church of the Most High, which he had purchased with his own blood. So, hey, like we read, we all, we purchased with that blood, man. So we're servants. Our job is to make sure the flock stays on the path, man. All right? Because these other servants that straight off the path, these fucking foolish virgins, all right, is kicking against the pricks, man. They're fighting against the Lord, man. And like the brother mentioned, yeah, they doing it when they come against us, man. As you have what I said, man. If they, who they rejected us, rejected him, man. They reject him. They reject him. That's that. That's him, man. Mm -hmm. you, you want to keep reading there? The point um, where you got about the uh, the rabbit and wolves about smiting the. Uh, uh, I just keep reading for you. I, I'm here. Oh, uh, okay. Um, uh, Acts twenty verse twenty nine. It says, For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. There you go. And that's, that's them servants, man. They should begin to smite the, his fellow servant. Mm -hmm. All right? They, they coming against us. That's smiting the fellow servant in itself. Coming against us and then feeding on the damn flock. Just all over the fucking place. It says, Also of your own selves... Shall men arise speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them? Exactly. Uh, so to jump back in Matthew 24, I'm read 49 again. It says, They shall begin to smite his fellow servants and to eat and drink with the drunken. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. That's right. And why are you going to uh, 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 give him his portion with the hypocrites, man? Because that's exactly what he's being, man. He's an actor. He's not living it. Just like the uh, the wicked Pharisees, man. You know? That's why Paul speaks about uh, 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 those that are of the circumcision, man. Whose mouths must be stopped. And you the worst fuckers on this planet, man. You niggas that know you Israelites, man. You worse than any regular ass two third. You worse than any heathen. Any heathen, even Esau, man. You're teaching lies, man. You know the truth. Especially ones that that was among GMS. Yeah, yep. And even hey, Nathan, they name was amongst the elders. Hey, you motherfuckers. No, all of them. Yeah, all of you guys, man. Because yeah. the truth came out of one west. Damn, and every man. last one of you niggas strayed from the truth, man. So it goes from the uh, Yahada yeah, stars, to GOCC to, to whoever, man. They worst. Because the truth came out of one west. So all you guys who didn't continue in the things that thou hast learned, hey, man, hey, 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 it's a wrap for you guys, man. Because you guys knew it and you strayed from the path. You know? God, they, they can endure the time, the test of time. And our apostles and our elders are still teaching the things that they learned from One West, man. The things that they learned from Ari, and the things that was uh, uh, high priest Ari, and the things that was revealed unto them through the Spirit that wasn't revealed unto their teachers, man. Because it's flowing water, man. This knowledge is constantly going to increase, man. Um, bringing out the the treasure new and things new and old. Yep. And um, and that's the thing about serving, man. You serving how about shining out shine? You gotta remain faithful. You gotta go through the test of time and through the the, act of, the test of trials, man. This is Luke, you know, because that proves your faith. This is Luke seventeen and six, and the Lord said, if ye have faith, if ye have faith as a grain of of of, of slap you. As a grain of mustard seed, you might say unto this sycamine tree, Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it shall obey you. You know, that's if you got just that little bit of faith, man, a mustard seed being such a small seed grows into a great, a huge fucking plant, man. Elder Ryan grew some, man. I see how big they fucking get. 
Alright? Um, but which of you having a servant, which this is going to go into the test of faith, man, the test of time, but, and, and endurance. But which of you having a servant, plowing or feeding, cattle will send to him by and by, when he has come from the field, go and sit down to meet. So you, what you gonna have? You got a servant. He do one job, and it's okay, cool. Now that's what it is. It's over with. Straight away, now you you okay? You go ahead and relax now. Have the kingdom, enjoy this shit. No man, you put you put your servant to labor, and will not rather say to him, make ready wherewith I may sup, and gird thyself and serve me. So now that you went and and and, and was in the field. Now come in, cook, all right, and then then serve me the food and do whatever else I need you to do for me. You put your servant to work. Otherwise, to hell with you. I would not rather say to him, make ready wherewith I may suck and gird thyself, you know, prepare yourself, get ready, man, and serve me till I have eaten and drunken, and afterward thou shalt eat and drink. And then I'll let you eat and drink, man. So we got to labor, man. Until, until you how about show me how shy is done and ready, man. Doth he thank that servant because he did things that were commanded him? I trow not. So likewise, when you should have done all those things which are commanded you, I'm going to read that over slot here. So likewise, Ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say we are unprofitable servants, we have done which is our duty to do. Alright? So we gotta and take whatever the fuck we gotta take and teach this word and tell you how about Shang Yao Shai say so, man. And that's our reasonable service, man. That's our duty. Because we fucking live and exist on this planet. Everything else is because Yahweh Hashem Yahushai is merciful and gracious, man. So the water Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's right. All right. You got something? Yes, sir. This is a uh, Sirach thirty-three and twenty-four. It says, "Father, a wand and burdens are for the ass, and bread, correction, and work for a servant." So you got you know, you got to correct. You got to feed them. And the Lord, he feeds us right here, man. This is bread of life, man. All right? And he says uh, correction. So he definitely chastises. We should, he said we should accept the man and show him to the furnace of affliction. Hell, that's even why, the reason why these scoffers even come against us. That's to prove us. To hell with these scoffers, man. Hey, y'all probably should going to kill all of them, man. From the starting with the top of IUIC, I should pick y'all down to the little fucking ants. Like fucking Avengers and, and ITR, man. Y'all about Shana Shai's gonna kill all them motherfuckers, man. That's right. At least they repent. But you can't repent of blaspheming the Holy Spirit. It says, if thou set thy servant to labor. Read, read that over there. Kind of, verse 24, it says, Father, a wand and burdens are for the ass, and bread, correction, and work for a servant. Alright, so we gotta take our correction, man, because we are servants. See how about Shana Shai? Shana Shai. All right, and, and and take the correction and labor. Up, oh, damn, fuck, ah, it ain't gonna feel good. Fuck, ah, that shit hurt. God damn, but hey, okay, let me keep plowing, man. Keep going, man. Let me keep making this. Let me keep making this soup for the for for the for the master. Let me keep doing. Let me feed this. Let me feed this sheep over here. Let me make sure I take this water out, you know, to this sheep right here, man. You know? Yep. Cause we prisoners unto Yahweh Shah, man. Even though the work is unto men. Cause Yahweh Shah said it what, man. He said, uh, 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 your service is not unto men, but do it as not unto men, but as unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know? So we serving Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. It says, uh, if thou set thy servant to labor, thou shalt find rest. But if thou let him go idle, he shall seek liberty. That's right. And that's casting the burden off, man. He shall seek liberty. He hey, man, I'm going to go off and just do my own thing. You know? And that's why you got to stay busy in this thing, man. Yeah. And, and to tell you the truth, man, when you hop in the spirit, breaking bread, doing sit-downs, when you studying and stuff, man, 
you know, build, you got to study, build yourself up. But we're going to be teaching, man. You know, and he had wired, wired yourself, man. The liberal social main fact. You feel, you'll be recharged, man. Like, you hit the line. You, you like, your battery just got, they like, you got plugged up, man. And got booted back up, man. <laughs> Boot, you got booted up, man. Mm -hmm. Shit. It says, uh, 26. A yoke and a collar do bow the neck, so are tortures and torments for an evil servant. You and we spoke about what would happen to that evil servant, that unprofitable servant. So you take the rod of correction, all right? And like um, I think it's Jeremiah, he said, "O oh Lord, correct me, but not in thy anger." Man. That's right. So you're gonna take the rod of correction, which which the burden of being a servant, all right, to make you better, the chastening of the Lord, man. Or you can take the fucking the torches. That's for an evil servant, man. Read that verse over. Okay. It says, a yoke and a collar do bow the neck, so are tortures and torments for an evil servant. There you go, man. It says, send him to labor, that he be not idle, for idleness teacheth much evil. So, it's shit, we gotta labor, man. This is what we just sitting around doing fucking nothing, man. It, it teaches him about the evil. Then, then you get used to uh, allowing your flesh to win those battles. The next thing you know, you back in the world doing whatever the fuck you was doing, man. Even more. Because Yahweh Shah spoke of AAA, hey, 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 the last uh, state of that man is worse than the first, man. So when you fall out this truth, man, you, you become even a worser nigga. It says, send him to labor that he be not idle, for idleness teaches much evil. Set him to work. Man, that even can go into eating too much honey, man. You know, you get this truth, you got to start teaching it, man. Sitting around, just keep gaining and gaining and gaining and gaining to your ass of uh, many books. You know, uh, there's no end. Now you get to something too fucking bugged out. Because you teach it, you got to constantly go over certain things over, man. Because the flock ain't, hey, you got to deal with the sincere nuke a lot, man. You know? So you got to labor, man. You got to you gotta push this word out, man. Keep yourself in balance, man. You can't just... Taking in and not giving, man. That's having your talent. Hey, the Lord will quickly take that away from you. Okay. Now, here you go. You're going to some bugged out as Egyptian shit. Verse 28, it says, Set him to work as is fit for him. If he be not obedient, put on more fetters. You know, <laughs> and the, the elder brother Ariella down in Dallas, you know, I, uh, that's what I heard uh, uh, him, you know, he says a lot, you know. He said, hey, you want to weed out a whole ass nigga? Give him something to do. Give him a job to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Tell him to do this and tell him to do that. You know? It says, uh, verse 29, but be not excessive towards any and without discretion do nothing. If thou have a servant, let him be unto thee as thyself. Because thou hast bought him with a price. Which, you know, this this going into literal servants, but we talking about this is spiritually. You know? If thou have a servant, let him be unto thyself. We are all servants of who? Yahweh Shah. Because thou hast bought him with a price. Yahweh Shah bought us with his blood, man. We are purchased with a price. And guess what? He said the servant is not greater than his master. What you be asking? You know? So, hey, hey, if thou have a servant, which we're all servants of Yahweh Shah. Let him be unto thee as thyself, because thou hast bought him with a price. If thou hast a servant, entreat him as a brother, for thou hast need of him as of thy own soul. If thou entreat him evil, and he run from thee, which way wilt thou go to seek him? You know, so in turn, hey, Yahweh Shah treats us like what? Like friends, man. And in turn, uh, 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 the brothers that's within this, uh, 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 this order of things, you know, we treat each other as friends, as brothers, man, as we would ourselves. You know? We don't rule over each other and, 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 and exercise authority as the Gentiles do, as the heathens do, as Yahweh Shah said. No, that was it. So, hey, with that, man, you know, we, we hope this lesson was edifying. You know, until next time, I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and salutations.
to all you out here around the world preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity, who's rightly dividing the word of truth directly and correctly. You know, blessings, salutations to you, brothers, man. Hey, we at the end of this thing, so shit, hey, let's work. You know, let's labor. You know, because being idle, we read what it brings, you know. So shalom.